Hello everyone, welcome, John here. Uh, and today we're going to cover how to web scrape sites that require a login uh, using requests and request session. Um, using the inspect element tool in our browser, we can see where the login request is actually sent and we can mimic that in our program. And, this, and the session part allows us to stay alive within that and access all the pages that are behind the login. Um, there are a few things we need to do before we write our code, however. Um, we need to find out the login URL, what parameters are sent with that post request, and of course we need the login credentials. Um, although, this, although in this example I will share the login information with you because we're using a dummy site, um, I'll also show you a way to separate out your credentials at the end to make it a bit safer uh, and better when you're sharing your script or uploading to GitHub or whatever. Um, so this is the site we're going to use and it's at this URL and I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, as you can see we've got a simple login form with a username and password required. Um, so if we log into this now using the information given to us here, and we'll see uh, that when we log in correctly we get a log, you are logged in and we get a secure area. So this is what we want to um, get to with our, with our Python program and then, and then scrape the pages within this. Um, although this is a demo, so there's no real meaningful information here. Okay, so if we log out now. So the way that we find out what's going on with the requests is by using the inspect or inspect element port, uh, part of the, your web browser. Uh, and the tab we're most interested in is the network one. So as you can see here, um, if we click the login button with no credentials, we'll get a load of requests pop up. And this is what we just did and what we just sent to the server. So we can see here, one of the ones is called login and it's got authenticate into it. Now this looks like a post request to me, so if we click on it here, ah, that was a get request. So we want the one above, which is a post request. Um, so a post request is a request sent to the server from the web browser and a get request is basically the information coming back. Um, what we need to find out is where uh, the URL that is being posted to with our username and password and any other information that goes along with that. We can see right away here that the request URL is this one. So let's copy and paste that over here for safekeeping because that's where we're going to need to send our post request from our script. So if we now clear this up and we clear that up and if we click preserve log we'll be able to see everything come in so if we use exactly the same uh, super secret password and log in I typed that wrong let's clear that again I'll get the password right this time great so we logged in correctly now we what we can do is we can actually see on our request here that we have a post request, and somewhere down here it should give us a response. Oh, here's the response. Didn't load. Okay. Here we go. Here's our form data. And this is what was sent along with our request to the URL. So we need to make sure these are this we need to make sure that we use the correct matching information here. Now sometimes you might find there might be a bit more information down here. It might say um, have other have the parameters with it and you need to make sure that those go along with the request as well but we can see here there's only a username and password so that's all that we need from logging in here as well we can see that the, we got directed back to secure and this should be our get request here that we got sent back so we need this URL as well let's put that in here okay great so I'm going to close out the browser now and we'll get onto our editor and start writing our code. So the first thing we need to do, um, as always, is import requests and we need to set our URL. So our, let's call this login URL is equal to, uh, this is where the information that we posted to, not the URL that was actually went to to get the login form. And then let's call this one our uh, secure URL for better. There we go. So let's post this in. And this is where this is the web. This is the URL that we want to get to once we have logged in. Okay. So now we need to work on our post request, and we need to send the username and the password along with that 
to get authenticated with the server. Now to do that we need to send some kind of payload and because we have two parameters we need to make that into a dictionary so we'll do payload is equal to and create a Python dictionary and the first one was username which is what we saw in our post request on the browser and that was Tom Smith and then the password was this password just like that okay so now we've created our payload to send along with it if there were any other parameters that needed to go with the request they would also need to go in here and match what we looked at on the on the inspect element network tab of the browser so the next thing we need to do is let's ignore session for now and let's just see if we can get authenticated with the server so if we do r is equal to requests dot post and then we need the login url that we set and then data is equal to the payload so what this is doing is it's going to use the requests to post this information to this url and the payload is what we created so if we print out r dot let's print the text hopefully what we should get back is the secure page um, here we go secure area so this shows that we did actually manage to log into the secure area okay so that's great so now we think that perhaps okay so we've authenticated with the server so if we were to try and navigate to a different page um, within that login area we could just access that as is but if if we try to do let's say um, r2 is equal to requests dot get and let's try and get the same page back secure what do I call it secure URL so this is exactly the same page but with this one when we send this post request we're actually getting the information back and within that information was a redirect which is the which was this page here the secure area so if we try and do the if we try and do this post request and then also get the same page back again and this could be a different page but this is the only one that's there then we should the, um, we should hopefully get this information back again but we won't we'll go and it will send us back to the login page because we are not authenticated so if we print the text out from that request which is going here we should get here look we're back at the login page so what this has done is that we have authenticated with the server but then because we haven't have we don't have our session we're not staying authenticated so we're not going to get anything so what do we need to do? Well, we need to use request.session. So I'm going to remove these, and we're going to keep these for now. And also, to make it a bit easier to see what's going to go going on, I'm going to use uh, import beautiful soup as well, so we can make the output a bit nicer, so we can see everything. OK, so the same, we need to keep the same payload, and we're going to use a context manager in this case. Now, a context manager is very useful because it will allow us to stay connected and stay logged in as long as we remain within our with statement when we come out of that we'll log back out again it's always good python practice to use a context manager when you're opening files or creating a session like this it means you don't stay connected to or logged into something so let's do with requests dot session with the double uh, brackets there and we'll do that as s just to give it a name and we were then going to do s.post and exactly what we did before with our sorry login url and then the data is our payload so this is basically just opening it and calling it s which is why it's s.post here because that's what we've used and then we're going to let's do uh print sorry let's do let's create our soup variable and we'll do beautiful soup um, and actually I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here let's just see what we get back if we do response and then let's print ah so we should get our secure area back well, response 200 because we've got the status code and we do the text we should get our secure area back which we do great so that proves that we've logged into there okay 
so we can get rid of this and let's try and load that page up again as we did before um, but when we did it without the session we were not logged in so we couldn't get the page so now let's do r is equal to requests dot get and then let's do the secure url so send a, a request directly to the url which will only get a the response back if we are still logged in and in this this case i am going to use going to create a soup variable so it's just easier to see and beautiful soup capital and let's do r dot content and we'll use the html parser like that and then let's uh, print soup dot and we'll use prettify so it's a bit easier to see it's clear our thing there okay so hopefully with this we'll keep our session open so when we post our login information which we've created here to the authenticate url which came from the inspect element on the browser that we saw we should then stay connected with our session which means when we request the secure url we should get the information back from that page okay but we didn't so we've done something wrong okay so i can see straight away what we've done wrong here is that we haven't used our session we've used requests to get as opposed to our session variable so if we change this to s we'll get in there we go welcome to the secure area okay so what we've managed to do is we've logged in to the website using the post and we're using our session as a context manager and then we've got our response using our session get to the secure page URL we've got the response back so this could be anything you could use logging into whatever website and then going directly to another URL that you can only access when you're logged in and getting that information so what I want to show now is what I mentioned at the beginning of the video where you can hide your username and password from your main script which is always a good practice so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file a new pi file and within that we're going to have username is equal to Tom Smith and our password equal to the password like this and we're going to save that as another pi file and we're going to call that creds.py and it's going to be in the same folder uh, the same directory as our main script and here what we can do is we can actually import that pi file into our main into our main program and by doing that what we can do is we can call those variables so we can then call creds dot username and also our creds dot password and what that's going to do is it's going to go to this file and get that information so you could then um, ignore this from your git upload and just upload this which means no one can see your username and password let's just check that works and there we go straight back to the secure area so that's it guys we managed to log into a website using requests and session to keep it alive and then access pages only available behind that login uh, I've also shown you a way how you can hide your credentials from your main file. So make sure you get into that habit. Cheers. Bye.